It's probably good enough. I don't even need to sew it. Last week, Andy found some messes while removing the chain plates from Ecola, and we buttoned her up for winter. This week, we started out measuring for all of the sewing projects we have coming up. We put all of the measurements into Sailrite's wishlist and just twiddled our thumbs until the Black Friday sale started. Everything arrived in just a few days, so Andy got right to work. So this winter, I have a lot of sewing projects I need to work on. I need to make a new cushions for down below, new cushions for the V-berth, new backrest cushions for the, the main cabin, need to rebuild the Dodger, need to remake the Bimini, which is what I got here and make a new sail cover from a kit we bought from Sailrite. I'm gonna first get started on the Bimini, Bimini top here, mostly because it's flat, and it'll be a good thing to get started and kinda of get a feel for the new machine. So to recreate this, I'm gonna cut it apart using the seam ripper I got, and then use the individual panels as templates to cut out a new piece. If you look at this, it's actually in pretty good shape but we want to change to a cadet gray from this tan. So we're going to make a new one and it'll be good practice. I'm going to start cutting this apart. I'm going to save all the zippers because they're just like a year or two old. And at one part, in this cream, cream colored vinyl stuff here on the end, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to save this too. It's kind of like a chafe protection from where it kind of rests a little bit on the back stay and where you like come in and out you put your hand on the top of it just to kind of keep it from getting I guess uh, dirty or worn on that edge. So as I'm taking this apart I'm going to just kind of mark um, what each piece is. So this is the center bow support fabric and this is the forward one. That's this the aft one I can tell because the there's a mark here from the back stay where it rubbed. So this is the aft. So this is my seam ripper tool. So it's got a little knife edge there and a little ball. So you kind of stick this underneath the stitch and cut it open. So a slight change of plans. I It took me a half hour to get just this one piece off because there was no basting tape. Um, so it's like a, like a sticky double-sided tape used to hold everything together while you sew. And that's just like gumming up everything. And I can't really get my um, seam ripper tool underneath to remove it. I have to order some new zippers to go with this and just kind of make it using this as like a template rather than like a pattern or something like that. So I'm going to measure it and then we'll cut some material to be the correct width. Sew that together and then we'll put this on top and we'll go around and kind of mark the edges and then do add an allowance around the edges. I got my two panels cut here. Um, so then my next next task is going to be sewing them together so I get the piece that's wide enough to um, make the bimini out of. Cut a roll here of quarter inch wide basting tape. I'm gonna stick that along the edge here, all the way along. Then I'll use that to stick the two pieces together. And then kind of roll the seam over on top of each other. So instead of going from like this, it'll be like this, and that way there's no um, cut edges that'll be exposed.
this is these are the two pieces I sewed together yesterday. And right now I'm gonna take the old dodger and put it on top and use that as a thing to trace around. So what I did is I marked around the um, perimeter, just using the old bimini as the template. Then I made an offset, and I used this iPhone charger <laughs> as an offset, and now giving material to fold over and to hem. I like it the seam based it. I'm gonna run a row of stitching along the edge to hold this together. I'm gonna to try using the magnetic edge guide thing. I'm gonna use this binding attachment that came with the sewing machine to attach this binding onto this edge because this is going to be a finished edge. You're going to see it um, from both the top and the bottom. I want a nice professional looking trim along the edge and that's what this binding will do. So I did a test piece so I have some idea how this is supposed to work but we'll try this together. That's gonna be it. I gotta wait for the zippers to arrive. Um, they're gonna take a couple days. But I did want to show how well the edging attachment worked out. Came out really nice. Did the whole thing. Next week we measure for our new standing rigging, and Andy makes new chain plates. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all of our projects.